I explained about focal point in one of my previous videos. In this video, I am going to explain sub about subordinate focal point. It's about subordinate focal point. What is subordinate focal point? It's an interesting, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, point to the painter because it makes his painting appealing. That's why he has to know about subordinate focal points. You can use one or two subordinate focal points to assist the focal point. That's an interesting theory. I will explain about it now. Especially when we need subordinate focal point is when, you, when we put our focal point this left side or anywhere not here is the center of the canvas or here or somewhere when it is the center of the canvas when you put here or here or here anywhere your focal points you need a subordinate focal point because when you put, put focal point here, the viewer side will go there and it will go like this. It won't go this way. When it won't go that way, whatever you work in this area is going to be waste. To, to avoid it, we need subordinate focal point in this area. That's why really some interesting element we have to put here or here or two areas then automatically the viewer eye will start here this is viewer's eye it will start here instead of going it it go this way and it go this way and it sees these two areas then automatically whatever work you are working in this right side of the canvas it will be successful then. The viewer will see all the canvas. Then after seeing these two subordinate focal points, he comes this or this or whatever focal point is whatever you place here. Simple. So that's why whenever we put focal point this side of the canvas, we have to use subordinate focal point one or two. It may be one, it may be two, it may be even three. It's up to you. It's you how to manage. If you are able to manage, you can go for two or three focal points also. So, you can arrange the focal point here and here. Then automatically, after your side is up seeing these two focal points or one focal point, it will come to the main focal point. So, this is the way use of subordinate focal points. So, remember this. Then this is the focal point. You have to use one subordinate, subordinate focal point here or here. Then your painting will be successful compositionally. So composition is the key to success of any painting. So arranging this focal point, managing this focal point, keeping the focal point in the right place. You are making your painting successful. Now I am going to show you how to use subordinate focal point when you paint. Let us start the painting. First I am starting with focal point. Here I am putting just my focal point. Yes. This painting, I am working from imagination. I am not using any 
deference or any so on so on so the reason is i always feel very comfort with painting from imagination in imagination when i work from imagination i do whatever i like whatever trees i want to put i will put there whatever the ground i would, I would like to create a cage i don't need to bother about what i am copying or replicating or from reference or from landscape or plain air i don't need to worry whether i'm getting it right or not just i go the way i like that's the beauty of working from imagination This painting just um, demonstrating what the purpose of explaining about subordinate focal points. So I am not going to paint something uh, which have a lot of varied elements and uh, many variations. I am not going for it. Just I am doing a plain landscape where which I need to explain about subordinate focal points. See, this is the more or less plain picture. In this plain picture, I am not, I didn't paint anything, just I put some light in the top area where it is focal point lies, remaining just I covered with light greens and dark greens, little bit yellow greens. I didn't put any more color than that. So now I got the focal point, remaining area totally filled with greens. How to make this painting little bit, sorry, how to make this painting visually appealing, that's the question. How to make this painting visually appealing, that's the question. Now I am going to work to find the answer for that. Now I am going to paint a little bit detail to bring the picture out of the canvas.
worked in much detail. Just I tried to finish the painting as simple as possible. For that, you have to observe continuously what you have done, what you need to do next, what are the results coming out of the canvas. Every moment you have to observe, analyze, study and you have to implement whatever conclusions you are getting. I used these yellows to balance these yellows because just uh, I put the yellows here. If I don't put the yellows downside, this become divided as two parts. There won't be any relation. To maintain that relation, I have to repeat that same color here in right places. See. I think more or less the picture is finished. All I have to do, which because focal point is left side, this side not having much balance or not, not having much visual interest. So I have to put some visual interest this side. Actually, this yellow stroke, yellow, that color, works as a subordinate point. But, we'll think of it. Is it enough or it needs some more, a more usual interest required? This, we will work on it. So, here, I am going to put some visual interest which maintains, which brings some balance also to the picture. Let me look at it for a moment, where exactly how to put those visual interest. I am planning to put uh, two trays because I require strong verticals are there. These are two verticals. Now this side got the balance. Now you judge yourself, you observe yourself. What is before that area, now what it is. Previously, 
the side is not having much visual interest. So when it is not having visual interest, it lost its balance also as a picture, as a whole it lost its balance also. So putting two trees, but also the two verticals, maintain the balance and the strong verticals bringing visual interest. They are working as subordinate focal points. Now, is it enough to maintain that or we require a, some interest here or this yellow a, the stroke, yellow streak is enough to work as a subordinate focal point. Let us examine for a moment. What I came to understanding is I don't need any more visual interest here. This yellow little bit that yellow stroke, that yellow streak is maintaining visual interest. It is touching the viewer strikingly. So the viewer will see this color first, this shape, this yellow shape. Then you will go to this trees. Then you will come to the this suburb, this this focal point. Then again he will come to this point. Then again he will travel like this. Later he will go total canvas. Now I add some branches for the trees. Then I will finish the picture. I will add some just to little bit. Fill this decide little bit value here, little bit darker value here. Just I am going to add it very little bit. Have to maintain balance this side also. I don't think this side anything is necessary, not necessary. Just I will leave it as it is. I think the picture is finished. On final touch, I added a human figure here. You can see that human figure in close-up shot at the end. I am showing you the close-up shots of the whole picture. So, later you can see that in detail. At present, I am explaining it to you. I realize it. I need some connecting point here. From here to here, the eye has to move. So, it should not jump. It needs some connecting point or you call it connecting element. To get that connecting element here, I composed a human figure which is almost white. So here 
the white or yellowish white, yellow white, a little bit pink, which is connecting. So when the eye come here, it will move to this way. So this uh, human figure will avoid the viewer side jumping from this point to this point. So the eye will move, the viewer side will move very smoothly. Then he won't feel uneasy. If he feels uneasy, he feels something wrong with the painting. He won't say what missed there, but he feel discomfort. Then he say painting is not that much good. So that's why after that I compose a human figure here. Now I will explain you the movement of this figure the subordinate focal point of this figure, how the subordinate focal point helped the focal point, I will explain to you. The viewer first sees this picture, this color, this stroke, this pigment. The viewer first sees this color patch, this accent, you call it, this yellow accent, you call it. From here, he will look at these two trees, this way. These are under subordinate focal point. From here, his eye moves this focal point. From there, he will come to this point. But in between, unknowingly, subconsciously, he feels some connection here. He won't feel it consciously, this connection, but subconsciously he feels it. Then he thinks the painting is good. He doesn't need to feel everything consciously. You should not make everything that make sure he has to see it. Just leave the things for what you call it, some out of focus, but the eye will feel those things. Then it connects to the element to element to feel joy. So this is the movement. The viewer first sees here, subordinate focal point one, then he will see the subordinate focal point two, then he will see the focal point, again he will come to his place. In between, he feels this under third subordinate focal point. This is the movement of the in this painting. After seeing this, he will go for all the details. These textures, these small thin trunks, these ground textures, these simple colors. All those messy and rugged and hard textures, details those rocky feeling uh, grounds, everything he feels subconsciously. He won't feel everything perfect, but he feels something what that kind of areas usually having. He feels he is looking at them. So he feels the painting is appealing. So, this is the essence of subordinate focal points. You require focal point, you require subordinate focal point. Again, once again, I am explaining. If you don't put here, or if you don't put this, fo this uh, subordinate focal point here, what's going to happen? The eye after seeing this, it will go straight away and it will exit. This whole area will become waste. Or otherwise, if you don't, if you remove this one, what's going to happen? Die. Die will feel confused which way it has to go. 
it will go you it will it has to see the trees or it has to go this one it will get confused to avoid that confusion you require all these elements note this every painting every successful paintings has harmony balance unity to achieve those things you will need to use the subordinate and focal points properly in our painting now i am going to show the close up shots of this painting you will see them you will study them you will observe them you will know you will feel you will understand what i explain to you now